So remember how I told you that if you're using a variable that is not declared for a read operation, it gives an error, a reference error. But if you're using an undeclared variable for a write operation, it actually creates a variable in the global scope. And I've told you how global scopes are bad, and it's it's unfortunate that JavaScript as such is doing this automatically. Uh, if you really dislike this behavior of JavaScript, you are not alone. There are a lot of developers who have been burned by this. And let's say I have a var my name equals something, and somewhere down the line, I make a typo, and I do something like this. Okay, I should have used the capital N, right? So I used a small n. Now, what does JavaScript do? It actually creates a variable in the global scope called my name, all small case, and it assigns the value here, right? So not only does it not assign the value that I had in mind for it, it's also creating a new variable that too in the worst of all places in the global scope. This is bad. And there is a way in which you can prevent this behavior from happening. And that's called the strict mode. So you, when you run JavaScript in general, there are a couple of modes in which you can run it. One is the normal mode that we've been seeing so far. The other is what's called a strict mode. And uh, here is actually the Mozilla Developer Network page for strict mode. I'm gonna share this in the video and in the course page. But this is something that was introduced in ECMAScript version five. Okay, so this is an opt-in feature. You can say, I want this to work in script, you know, in strict mode. I want my scripts to work in strict mode. And when you opt in, then there are certain things which JavaScript does that makes it a bit stricter and it removes these kind of crazy behaviors. The way to use strict mode is to use this string, right? So basically I'm gonna copy the string and paste it over here. If I do this at the very first line, if I use the string called uStrict with a space in between and ending with a semicolon, it basically tells the interpreter to say, hey, JavaScript interpreter, run this whole thing in strict mode. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here to the console. If I, ha if I did not have this, and if I ran this, notice that my name would have the value Kashik. But if I do add strict mode over here, I clear this out and I reload and run. Notice what happens. I get a reference error. It says assignment to undeclared variable by name, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So this is how you can prevent these kind of variables from being created when you do a write operation on an undeclared variable. And that's not the only thing that strict mode does. Uh, again, look at this page for a lot of stuff that it does, it has a few more things that kind of make sense. It's kind of like common sense features which you would wish JavaScript did. So it kind of takes away a lot of the craziness that JavaScript does by default. So this is how you do this. Again, there are a couple of things, a couple of ways in which you can use the strict mode. If you write this in the first line of your code, it basically runs the whole script that you have in strict mode, but you can also execute certain functions in strict mode. Let's say you're using libraries which don't work in strict mode and you wanna use this only for your code, right? So what you can do is, let's say all your code is inside a function here. Function my code and then everything you write is inside this function. Now let's say you want to apply strict mode only to your my code function. So what you can do is you can apply strict mode inside the function. So in this case, this use strict applies only to this function. So only your function is going to get executed in strict mode. But if you have other libraries or other you know code which will not work in strict mode for some reason, those will not get executed in strict mode because this applies only to this function. I personally try using strict mode everywhere because like I said, it applies some common sense guidelines and makes sure the JavaScript runs the way you would want it to. It removes a lot of the craziness. It uh, smoothens some of the rough edges of the JavaScript as a language. So this is definitely something that you should keep in mind and try to use as much as possible, at least, if not anything else, at least in the code that you write, always make sure that you're using strict mode.